All right. Welcome to this week's episode of Bunzo Bunzo Builds. And this week we're doing something completely pointless. All right. Uh, Yeah, we're building an old version of a kit, which is now superseded by a newer version of this kit. Old version of a kit, which is now superseded by a new of Raspberry Pi. As far as I can tell, it doesn't really involve any soldering to put it together. It's just uh, pre-made modules that you kind of bolt together. However, um, the finished thing looks quite similar. The, the case is still very similar. Uh, it's just got some extra bits and pieces on it. Anyway, so what is this? This is version 2 of a Zinthian. Uh, a Zinthian is described by the people that make it as the Swiss Army knife of synthesizers. Um, you know, as in it's like a lot of different soft synths in a box, uh, a lot of different instruments in a box. It's a nice little alternative, I think, to lugging lots of stuff to a gig or like uh, using a laptop and an interface to run sort of main stage or something like that. You know, you can just have it all in a nice little neat little box. Neat little box. Neat little box. And minimal wires and things to plug in. I guess, you know, the, the applications are in there. You can also use it in the studio to make lots of lovely little sounds and things. Um, yeah, so on the inside, you've got like a Raspberry Pi, a uh, single board computer connected to uh, a Hi-Fi Berry, which is like a high quality DAC, um, digital to analog converter. Um, and Raspberry Pi runs like um, some form of Pi. A uh, single board computer connected to Hi-Fi Berry, which is like a high quality DAC, um, digital to analog converter. Um, and Raspberry Pi runs like um, some form of Linux. And that acts as like um, a plug-in host uh, for all your soft synths and but then now you've got all kinds of things like a DX7 emulator. I think there's like an Oberheim emulator in there. It's a Fender Rhodes, Hammond B3. Anything you can think of, really, it's probably in there. Um, a DX7 emulator. DX7, 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 DX7. So, all very cool stuff. I bought this kit a couple of years ago and I filmed all of this a couple of years ago. I've only just got around to doing something with it really. All the music in the background, which I've not made yet, is coming out of the Raspberry Pi Fi Berry Pi. 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 Is coming out of the Zinthian. Um, so I'll just give you an idea of the kind of sounds, the quality of sounds, maybe. Uh, or just my bad music, who knows. Um, what else to say? Oh yeah, even though I've got the old version of the kit, uh, it still works with the newest version of the software that put out on this. Um, and the other thing is it's all open source. The hardware, the software, it's all a big sort of open source. Pi source. Pi. 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 Project. You know, you can anybody can get their hands on it and do what they want with it, really. Um, I hope I'm describing all of that correctly. And I think that's everything. Leave leave a comment. But hey, do it anyway. Do, do it, it anyway. Do it anyway. Bye. 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 Okay. So what am I doing here? Um, so far I've put together all like the rotary encoders which go onto all boards um, and they've got their own debouncing, debouncing capacitors. Um, so I'm now soldering together the board that kind of communicates MIDI to the Raspberry Pi. All the MIDI DIN sockets kind of connect to this. And it's got a MCP23017 device parallel I.O. expansion for I2C bus or SPI applications. Connecting MIDI messages to the Raspberry Pi. I think this is different in the new kit sense that that's just been done in the Raspberry Pi. So yeah, just a point of interest.
Okay, so this part here, I'm soldering up the the, the MIDI sockets. Um, they've got these uh, little cables that have um, connectors that go onto the board. Uh, yeah, what can I say about this? Never really been taught how to solder or anything like that. I'm sure there's plenty of people that go, that's not how you solder, man. That's just not how you do it, man. Not how you solder, man. That's just not how you do it, man. Do it, man. Not the hell you sold me in. That's just not how you do it, man. Do it, man. Do it, man. Do it, man. Not the hell you sold me in. 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 Okay, this is uh, the Hi Fi Berry board. Um, and again, in this kit, I think you had to solder on uh, a bunch of header pins. And there, you can see I've done that. And there are all your complete bits and pieces ready to assemble, which is what's about to happen here. So, got like the hardware there. And this is probably what's basically similar with um, the newer version of the kit. Uh, this part of it where it's all just kind of bolt together. So I'm just using a socket here to tighten everything up. Um, just the socket between the fingers, that's kind of enough to get it tight really, I think, without over tightening things. Okay, so each of the MIDI IOs has like a little LED indicator which I didn't show. Um, those just need to be soldered onto the cables. And then 
we can sort of put it all together really and stick the knobs on the final part. I recommend uh, before you put these final screws in um, to actually run the software on it and make sure everything's connected and running okay because you might need to open it up again and fiddle about, fiddle about. There it is, lovely. There it is, lovely. There it is, lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. So yeah, underneath here, this is where you put your little SD card, which you need to put the software on. Uh, and then when you plug it in, you should see that little white splash screen, and you can um, start adding sounds. Check all your rotary encoders work. Uh, you see there, these are all good, they're all corresponding to the correct part of the screen. The touch screen works. All good, groovy. Thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe and leave comments and all that stuff. See you next time. Bye!